to change your life but don't know how to start? Is your stress and worries keeping you awake at night? Have you been battling grief, anxiety, or depression all alone? Have you lost touch with your own sense of being or spirituality? Soul Free Therapies offers professional and affordable live video streaming counseling and coaching services from the comfort of your own home. Sessions offered in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Go to our website at www.soul-free.com and book your first session today. Hey, check out our brand new sponsor, Dynamic Solutions 2. That's the number two. They offer a life-changing dynamic financial solution. The finest in fast, professional, affordable credit repair. Is your credit in bad shape? Do you need a new car? Ready to buy a new house? Do you want to rent an apartment? Are you going to apply for a job? Any one of these activities, they're going to ask for a credit report and then check out your credit score. Let Dynamic Solutions 2 erase your negative credit remarks. They have affordable monthly prices. They accept Visa, MasterCard, PayPal options available. You go to www.dynamicsolutions.com that's the number two, dot com, or call 424-888-2820. 424-888-2820. Now, if you enter promo code ED or you mention Ed Opperman, you get a 10% discount. How's that? You get a free consultation, all negative items removed, get back in positive credit position, Dynamic Solutions 2, life-changing Dynamic Financial Solutions. 424-888-2820. Tell them Ed Opperman sent you. You get a 10% discount. Hey, you, podcast listener. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. Take the blue pill. You wake up in your bed and go back to listening to mundane podcasts that won't challenge your religious beliefs and your so-called truths about reality, the universe, and consciousness. Take the red pill. Subscribe to the Event Horizon podcast, hosted by Mark Anthony Peterson, and he will show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Event Horizon takes a walk into the paranormal with a splash of conspiracy. It's the podcast that would be born if David Icke and the X-Files had a baby. Subscribe to the Event Horizon podcast by Mark Anthony Peterson on Spreaker, iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, CastBox, Stitcher, or any of your other favorite podcast platforms. Remember, all we are offering is the truth, nothing more. It's the Opperman Report. Join digital forensic investigator and PI Ed Opperman for an in-depth discussion of conspiracy theories, strategy of New World Order resistance, high-profile court cases in the news, and interviews with expert guests and authors on these topics and more. It's the Opperman Report. And now, here is investigator Ed Opperman. Okay, welcome to the Opperman Report. I'm your host, private investigator Ed Opperman. And uh, you can find me at Opperman Investigations and Digital Forensic Consulting. You can also find me through my website, emailrevealer.com, where you can get an autographed copy of my book, uh, How to Become a Successful Private Investigator. If you like today's show, check out our members section at oppermanreport.com. I know a lot of people's uh, memberships are coming up. Um, we have to uh, update the paywall system, okay? Whereas, um, you know, how the membership software, okay? So we, ha if you're having a problem with your password on that, just get a hold of me. We have a temporary password for you. Uh, but you can still do the deal 13 months for $65. I have a lot of content about to go up in there as soon as we get a chance. It's at oppermanreport.com. But if you PayPal me directly, contact me through PayPal, at oppermanreport at gmail.com. I'll give you a discount, 13 months for $65. And we can really use your support right now because we have a lot going on. <clears throat> We've actually updated uh, Victoria's uh, Help Victoria Opperman Get to College GoFundMe uh, because the semester's up and she has to take a trip back to Nevada. So she won't be able to work during that period of time, you know, and uh, there's the flight back and forth. We're going to be driving back because I'm moving. 
And uh, so we have a lot of expenses coming up in the, in the next month uh, that you really wouldn't believe. I mean, a lot going on here. I thought I had all this extra content taped and ready to go, uh, but then I got sick. I caught the flu. I was sick for two weeks. Uh, so all that extra content that we have. This is the first time I've done a, a solo broadcast in over three weeks because I've been so damn sick. And uh, also, too, with the, the daylight savings time change, I'm just so tired by the time 7 o'clock comes around because of my sleep schedule. is so goofy. So uh, <clears throat> if you want to become a member, we can really use your support right now. And you can email me at operamentreport at gmail.com. I'll send you a PayPal invoice there and you get 13 months for 65. And that's what helps to support the show. Um, and also, too, if you want to help Victoria with her college funding, it's... Uh, Help Victoria Opperman get to college. And we can really use the support there right now, especially. Um, also, too, if you like these shows, you can check out our, our uh, archives are free at Spreaker.com. S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. You go there for free. You can sign up for free. There's a chat room. Uh, you get an email notification anytime there's some new live content comes out. Or new, any new content whatsoever. I play uh, uh, repeats every single night of the week. Uh, so you can check that out. Now, um, we got a great big news just yesterday. Uh, we got a new sponsor. And he's going to be taking us on the air down in Florida. We're going to be on a big station down in Florida. AM station, five days a week. So that uh, means we'll be on in Florida, we're on in Nevada, we're on in Utah, and we're on in California. 39 cities right now. I don't know how many cities are down there in Florida, but it's a good 5 or 10 cities. It's a big chunk of uh, uh, coverage around Tampa and Bradenton and Clearwater. Uh, Sarasota covers a huge area. And I think it even dips a little bit into Alabama. You know, it goes all the way out into the Gulf of Mexico. I know that. Uh, so if you're out there on a boat and stuff like that, you know, you, you laugh at that, right? But um, every single week, because I'm I'm here in Nevada, right, on air, and the signal covers Lake Mead, and the signal covers Mount Charleston, and when you're out there on your boat in Lake Mead or you're camping out at Lake Mead, there's no TV out there, there's no internet out there, so the only thing you got is AM radio. So every single week I get an email from someone saying, hey, I was out on my boat. Or, hey, we were camping up there at Mount Charleston. <laughs> you know, we listened to the show. And it, you know, another thing, too, we get that's funny, too, is people will say they started listening to the show. And they were living, they were vacationing in, in Vegas. And they, they went to the, back to Utah or they went back to California. And they were listening to the show in Vegas. And then they heard it on another station, the same show. <laughs> on their drive to in California. So that's kind of cool, too, when you get that. Uh, so welcome all our new new listeners, and we're going to be on soon in Florida. So if you ever thought about advertising, this would be a great time to do it because uh, we have great advertising rates. And also, too, I'm going to be picking up another package of stations, too, AM, FM stations, um, about 8 to 12. It's like a package uh, that we're going to be getting into, too. But that's only going to be like one hour a week, but it'll get us some uh, exposure to different areas. So if you want to advertise, get a hold of me at OppermanReport at gmail.com. Uh, more good news for you is, you know, if people following the, the old saga of my contact lenses, I found a, an eye doctor to, to fit my contact lens. I have to wear these really hard contact lenses. And so I finally found an eye doctor uh, that, that I was covered with uh, that would do this for me because it really is an art. A lot of eye doctors don't even do it. I can't go to like uh, lens crafters or those kind of places you see in a mall. And uh, when my old eye doctor back in, in New York was actually a surgeon. And he had done the eye surgery on the Pope, and he had done the eye surgery on Mother Teresa, okay, because he did a lot of stuff with the Vatican. And um, he always told me, and this guy was a real uh, big shot eye doctor, you had to make an appointment like three months in advance, and you get to his office, he's still waiting, he'd be, be waiting in the waiting room for three months after that, <laughs> you know, I'd be waiting all day long. And um, so he always told me I was going to need eye surgery, but when I just had my eyes examined yesterday, the woman told me, she says, nope. Uh, you're never going to need eye surgery. Your eyes will never get worse than they are right now because of a. Um, she could tell by the progress of how bad they've gotten over the past ten years. So she says, "This is this is you know you, your eyes are this is pretty much the last prescription you're going to need." So thank God for that. Um, um, 
been working on a lot of stuff uh, besides that. I, I got a couple of really, really big shows coming up. Uh, one is I was contacted by uh, Jeffrey Epstein's ex-business partner, uh, the guy who's the, the Ponzi scheme guy. Um, I think his first name is Stephen Hoffenberg, you know. And uh, there's a book coming out, and he's the source for the book, and he's promoting the book. And he contacted me about coming on the show, so I'm in discussions with him. I don't think he's done any interviews, uh, but uh, he's he's aware of what I'm doing over here, so he's contacted us about coming on the show. Um, so there's that. Okay, that's a pretty big deal, I think. Then the other thing is, um, you might recall a few months back, I did an interview with private investigator Paul Baresi. Uh, it's called a Hollywood Bag Man, and you can find it on Spreaker.com. You can listen to it for free. Really, really popular interview, man. He's a really fascinating guy. He, he um, at one point was a gay porn star. He hates to talk about that, but he was a gay porn star and a gay porn producer. And he actually had an affair, homosexual affair. Uh, he had some kind of a relationship with John Travolta. He's kind of uh, vague about it now, but he but he's been in the tabloids claiming it was a homosexual affair, and um, then he, he got involved with the, the tabloids, selling stories to the tabloids, and became involved in private investigative work. And a uh, very uh, legit though PI in California worked for Anthony Pelicano, worked for some of the biggest lawyers uh, and law firms and uh, Hollywood press people out there in California, um, in showbiz. Michael Jackson, he talked about it. He worked on the Michael Jackson, you know, for Jackson, you know, and he came on the show. He, he said he believes Jackson's guilty. So, involved in a lot of stuff. So, he was on our show and he was uh, quoting some, he likes to quote Shakespeare and quote these famous uh, literature, works of literature. <laughs> Fascinating guy. And uh, he's even more fun off the air, by the way, when he's calling me up every 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay, we've established a professional relationship off the air, and he's a very uh, persistent guy, man. If you don't pick up the phone on the first ring, he's practically banging your door down. Uh, and you know how I am with that kind of stuff. Everybody, uh, I'm notorious for uh, not returning phone calls and, and uh, not being able to uh, keep up with all my phone messages and stuff like that, <laughs> and changing my phone numbers. <laughs> you know, I'd say. Uh, you know, people still laugh about that, but I'll just change my business phone number one day. Anyway, so he was on the show and he was quoting some uh, famous uh, literary work, you know. And uh, I guess that Johnny Depp's attorney was listening to the show uh, because Johnny Depp's attorney went to a uh, a tabloid. A publication called The Blast, and he quoted my show. He said it was a podcast. He didn't mention my name, but he quoted the show and made some disparaging remarks about Paul Baresi. Right, so I got to talking to Paul about all this, and it, and it turns out he has some very interesting information about the Johnny Depp. So we're hoping he's going to come on the show. He's been doing research and investigating on people in Hollywood for all these years. So he has a whole uh, wealth of information. Uh, so he's going to be coming on our show and talking about a lot of information he has. It's going to be a, a breaking, groundbreaking stuff. Uh, if if we could talk about some of the stuff he's told me off the air, some of the material I've seen that's backed up with uh, telephone recordings, witness statements, court documents, settled court documents. Settle lawsuits. And uh, if uh, we can get that on the air to you here, it'll be uh, international headline news. Now, that's no exaggeration. So you can look forward to that. Uh, let's see. You know, I was talking about, uh, even right now when I'm, when I'm trying to do this uh, little live solo segment here you know i'm still feeling sick i'm still feeling down from the flu you know i was down for two weeks and i didn't leave the house for about 12 13 days and i've only been leaving the house now for about four days all right so i